Our job is to report the news, not fabricate it. That's the government's job. So guys, it seems the people of Naples, Italy have said no to this nonsense. Well, they did last night as you were watching this anyway. There was a curfew placed on the region by local government, apparently not supported by the National One, which included a lockdown that would destroy the people of Naples more than the first one did. Only difference this time being is the people have said no, and in great numbers, to the point that they are chasing the police off who stupidly think it's a good idea to go against the people. The more sheeple accept, the more they will throw at us. You can be guaranteed of that. But but there is hope like I said. Naples has had enough, a bit like the gym owners in Liverpool earlier this week who actually won and are now allowed to be open. If only more businesses banded together to do the same. Now maybe we will see this in the UK on a grand scale one day. I still have faith in the British people. Well, we need to because the government always says we are two weeks behind some European nation. So I will bet now Italy will be doing the rounds again soon. You mark my words. But back to this Naples bullshit and the hero now. They turned out in numbers and would not be controlled or bullied by the police, who need to remember like I said they will always be outnumbered by the people. Now throughout the evening I have collected some footage from it as you will see in a moment, showing a good turnout and the fact that they have clearly had enough. You don't need to speak Italian to work that one out, let me tell you. <laughs> consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires and that is why Britain is leaving 
and it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.